This particular video is a sequel to the last one where you had to simplify and state the excluded values. In this particular video, we're just going to simplify uh, the rational expressions, uh, basically mainly by multiplying, right? Um, so we'll do a little bit more multiplying. This one on the board is not multiplying, but it, we're going to get to some multiplying here in a little bit. So we'll do some uh, multiplying for this one. We'll do one more video, and we'll have dividing on the next one. So, again, rational expression. Remember, we have usually a, a variable in the denominator. Um, that's what gives us a rational expression. Remember, expression, again, we don't have an equal sign. So, in the last video, I talked about nomials, where you had mono, you had a bi, and you had a tri, and then you also had a poly. Remember, the only way you can simplify rational expressions is if you have the same type of nomial and also the same like literal numbers within each nomial. So with these, if I see this up here, I actually have a trinomial, and down here I have a binomial. So I can't do anything right now. Just because the 72s are there doesn't mean I can do it. I can't. So if you do it, you're going to get wrong. Okay? So now let's figure out how to do this. Well, because this is a trinomial, and I have an x squared or an m squared term, I can factor that with an x, Negative 72 goes up top. I have a negative m in the bottom. And then I can factor and get my two magic numbers on the sides, which would make a negative 9 and a positive 8. So I need to put this into parentheses by factoring. So I get m minus 9 and m plus 8. These two numbers, when they go into the parentheses, they're the exact same. Only when you solve an equation do they switch. Okay, you gotta remember that. So, your denominator. What do they have in common? I have a 9 here and a 72. If we think about multiplication and remember our division effects, both of those are divisible by 9. So I can pull a 9 out. Then I have an m squared and an m. Well, they both contain at least one m, so I'm taking the m out. What is left? Well, m plus 8. If I were to distribute, I would get back with what I started with. That is the point of factoring. Remember, greatest common factor. So I have 9m times m plus 8. Well, this is pretty cool. Now, if you look at it, I have a binomial here. I have a monomial here. Here I have a binomial. And here I have a binomial. Well, my two binomials, m plus 8, are the exact same. So I can cancel them out because I'm dividing. Remember, I can cancel things out that are the same. So what do I have left? I have m minus 9 over 9m as my final answer for 6. Okay, let's go to 7 here. So again, the same thing. I need to cancel out things that I can. Well, I don't have to factor anything because... This is a monomial, 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 and monomial. We all have monomials, so I can't make them smaller. But what I can do is now start to divide things. Because we're multiplying fractions, remember, we can cross-simplify. So this 2 and that 2, because they're diagonally the same, I can cancel them out. That 8 and that 8 are the exact same reason. They're on the diagonals, and I can divide them both by 8. Therefore, I cancel but these k's aren't on the diagonals, they're vertically. Well, same thing applies. I can still cancel vertically, I just can't, crawl, I can't cancel horizontally. So, k to the third over k. Well, this has 1k, and this has 3, which means I have 2 left over, because I can cancel them out. So my answer is just k squared. So that problem just breaks down into k squared. Oof. This one looks a little complicated. Actually, it doesn't look that bad because most of it's already factored. So let's look at like things. This is a binomial. This is a binomial. This is a binomial. Same with here. Binomial, binomial, and this is a monomial. So I have a whole bunch of binomials with only one monomial. That means that this monomial is going to appear in my answer because there's no other monomial to cancel it out or make it smaller with something else, right? So I have to have that in my answer. So here we go. Well, n plus 2 is the same 
binomial as this n plus 2. Because they're on a diagonal and I'm multiplying fractions, I can cross simplify. Okay? Cross simplify. That's what you're doing. I'm crossing out like things. Well, this n plus 7 and this n plus 7 are also on the diagonal. Therefore, they can also be canceled out. What do I have left? I have 4n over n minus 1. Binomial here. Monomial here. I know I can't go any further, so that is my answer. Number 9. We have a monomial. We have a monomial. This is a binomial. And this is a binomial. So I have one binomial, but we have to try to to simplify the binomials to factor them out so that's a 6 and that's a 54 well they can both be divided by 6 so 6 times so 6 times r plus 9 okay so I'm gonna rewrite this here a little bit I get 3 r over 6 times 6 times r plus 9 that's the factored form of this over n plus 9 so let's look at it here. This binomial turned into a binomial and a monomial. Okay, so let's figure out what we can do. I have a binomial here, which is the same as that binomial. They can cancel. I have a monomial and a monomial. They can cancel because they're exactly the same. So what do I have left? Just 3R. 